hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm going to be coming with a basic acrylic application tutorial so if you guys are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever your girl posts a new video and yeah let's just go ahead and get started so like i said today i'm just going to be doing a basic acrylic application video i'm going to be using this really pretty milky white color that i actually made myself so yeah the first step that i'm going to be doing which is what you see me doing right now i'm just taking my straight edge nail clipper and clipping her nails down because she has super long nails Now I am just going in with my cuticle pusher and pushing back her cuticles to um, basically display her new growth of her nails and all of the dead skin so I can go in with my sanding band and remove all of that. Now I'm just going in with my 180 grit sanding band and removing the shine from her nails and also removing all of this dead skin from her cuticle area. I have my drill on about 5000 RPMs because like I said in one of my previous videos, you don't want to have the um, speed of your drill on too high or else it can burn the client or make their nail beds really, really sensitive. So after I have removed the shine from her nails, I'm just going in with my BT Art Box pre-shaped tips, which I will link down below so y'all can go check them out. And I'm just going to apply them to all of her nails. And the glue that I am using is the KDS Nail Glue.
So after I have glued down all of her nails, I'm just going back in with my straight edge nail clipper and I'm clipping her nails down to the desired length that she wanted. She didn't want them too long, but she also didn't want them too short. So I'm pretty much just cutting them down to the length that she wanted. And then after I cut down both hands, I'm going to match them up side by side to make sure that both hands are the same size with each finger. After I make sure that all of the nails are the same length, I'm just going to go in with my 8080 grit file, which also will be linked down below for you guys to go check out. And I'm just going to shape these tips a little bit. Like I said, these tips are pre-shaped, so you don't have to do much filing when it comes to getting the shape correct. So yeah. A quick tip that I just wanted to throw in there for y'all that have been having problems with your nails rounding at the free edge. To prevent that from happening, I advise y'all to hold the nail file um, kind of straight but at an angle at the same time. It's kind of easier for you to look at it being done than me to explain it. But the more you turn your hand inward, the more rounded the free edge will be. So try to hold your hand straight but at an angle to make sure that the tips and the free edges of the nail are not going to be rounded. So after I finish filing the nails, I'm going to go back in with my 180 grit sanding band and my nail drill on about 5,000 RPMs. And I'm just going to blend the nail tip with my natural nail just to ensure that I do get a really nice and smooth application when it comes to applying the acrylic. Now this next step is optional, but I like to do it. I'm just going in with my CND dehydrator to make sure that I am getting rid of any oils or anything that may hinder the nail from not adhering or the acrylic from adhering. Um, you don't have to use dehydrator. You can use alcohol instead or even acetone, just anything that will dry the nail out. And then after that, I'm just going to go in with my Young Nails Protein Bond, which is what I use as a primer. Now for the acrylic application, I am using a number 14 brush by Panna, which I did pinch myself. You can purchase this brush from either Amazon or eBay. I will link it down below. And then this really pretty milky white or off-white color that I'm using, I actually made myself. 
I used about 75% clear acrylic and then about 25% white acrylic. The more see-through you want the color to be, the more clear you use and the more opaque you want it to be, the more white you use. Oh yeah, and really quick, the acrylics that I mixed together was my Mia Secret, just regular white acrylic, and then my Young Nails Core Clear. I mixed those two together to get this milky white. And then the monomer that I'm using for this set and for all of my sets, the only monomer that I use is the Glam and Glitz monomer, which you can purchase off of Sam's Nail Supply for about $21 for a 16 ounce bottle. And I know y'all are probably wondering what specific bead method it is that I use. Um, I'm not sure if y'all can tell by this video, but I don't use a bead method in particular. I kind of just do what works best for me. So I pretty much just try to make sure that I have a good structure when it comes to the nail and also a good apex so that the nail, when it breaks, it won't break her natural nail under it.
now I'm on to the opposite hand. What you see me doing right now is just once again um, applying the dehydrator. After this, I'm going to go in with my Young Nails Protein Balm, which is my primer. All of the steps are pretty much repetitive. I'm going to be doing the same exact steps for this hand that I did with the last hand. So, yeah. Another really good tip that I want to tell you guys to make sure that you keep the shape even when you're applying the acrylic so you won't have to do as much shaping afterward is to make sure that you clean up the side walls and put, kind of push them in to where they're making a the shape. The more straight you want the shape, um, the more you should push them in and kind of make them even. If you kind of leave them out, it'll round the nails out, which is the look that I do not like. So I try to... Push the sides in as much as possible without it like moving from the actual nail area.
So after I finish applying the acrylic to both hands, I'm going to go back in with my 80-80 grit nail file. And I'm just going to clean up the shape, pretty much just making sure that they're really nice, clean, and crisp. After I shape the nails, I'm going to go in with my first cuticle bit and I'm going to remove any excess acrylic from around the cuticle area and make sure that I keep them sealed. around the cuticle area the first time I'm gonna go back around them with another cuticle bit 
just to ensure and make sure that I keep those cuticles sealed. This is a big step when it comes to making sure that you don't get any lifting. I like to use this bit just because it smooths out the nail and it's really, really nice to go around the cuticle area. Like I said before, this cuticle bit is really, really good for sealing the cuticles, so yeah. After I've gone around the cuticle area to make sure that they're sealed and really nice and neat, I'm going to go in with my buffer and I'm just going to smooth out the nail, remove any shine or any oil or anything from the nail and also to make sure that I get any excess acrylic that may be on the sides of the nail. This step right here is optional, you don't have to do it, but I just like to go on with this fan bit and just remove all of the dust and excess um, monomer or acrylic that dried up over the nails just to make sure that they look really nice and clean. Now for the last step, I'm just going in with my Beatles gel top coat that I purchased from Amazon and I'm going to apply that to all of the nails and let them cure for 60 seconds under my UV LED light. Now for the last two steps, I'm just going to spray some alcohol on her nails just to get rid of any sticky layer and also that dried up monomer or acrylic. And then I'm just going to use some cuticle oil and massage that into her cuticles just to make sure that they're nice and moisturized. And yeah, y'all, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about any products that I use, nine times out of ten, they will be in the description box down below. But if they're not, just leave a comment down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you will be notified whenever your girl posts a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.